Oh, rubber ducky, you're the one. You make bath time lots of fun. Rubber ducky, I'm awfully fun. Rubber ducky, you're the one. Okay, YTBC, this is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. And, you know, you see these three guys on the ring. I mean, you see these three guys on, in, on the screen that, that's sitting up here right now, okay? And you see Terrence Crawford at the bottom. Listen, these three men, Manny Pacquiao, Ruslan Pavotnikov, and Mauricio Herrera, they are the new members, honorary inducted members into DuckFest. They're into the DuckFest, and I'm inducting these members, okay, into DuckFest, okay? Uh, Billy Joe Saunders will be inducted. Uh, I'll probably induct Billy Joe Saunders after the Robert Guerrero and Danny Garcia fight. I will be inducting Billy Joe Saunders into the Hall of Fame, okay? But not right now. And, 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 and you know, and we'll see if Triple G, they offer Danny Jacobs that same thing. Uh, you know, I'm putting Danny Jacobs in there too, hell. Uh, all these dudes. All these dudes are a bunch of punks, man. These dudes don't want to fight. But let's talk about the three men on the screen. Let's talk about our boy, Manny Pacquiao. Manny Saltwater Pacquiao. Let's talk about him, okay? Manny Pacquiao, well, first of all, before I go in on these guys, People are saying that Terrence Crawford chose Hank Lundy. He chose Hank Lundy? I will be a dog pissing on a fire hydrant in a lightning storm. What you mean he chose Hank Lundy? No, Hank Lundy was the only dude that had enough guts to get in the ring and fight the dude. Hank Lundy was the only one to say, okay, forget it. I'll take this fight. I need this fight. I want this fight. Hank Lundy is an opportunist, even though Hank Lundy going to go in there and get his ass knocked out. But Hank Lundy is an opportunist, okay? Let's start with Manny Pac. Let's start with Manny Saltwater Pacquiao. Let's start with him. And I know that Saltwater going to get under y'all's skin, but I don't care, okay? I know this. We can't get around this. Manny Pacquiao turned down the fight with Terrence Crawford. Now, you know, we can have our speculations. I'm human. I got my speculation. I think Manny Pacquiao really didn't want a piece of Terrence Crawford. He just didn't want no part of it. You see, Freddie Roach and Manny Pacquiao, they not stupid. Well, they, they ain't stupid. They not. They know that the probability of Pacquiao getting knocked the hell out fighting Terrence Crawford is a whole lot higher than fighting Tim Bradley. And I'm sorry, y'all. You can say what you want to say on this video. Coach don't care. But dang it, Manny Pacquiao does not want to go out his last fight on the canvas. He don't. Because guess what Manny Pacquiao would have to do? He would have to come back and fight again, and he'd have to take another fight. He'd have to take another fight so he can leave on a good note. And probably it'll be against the bum. Now, Manny, I do gotta I gotta give props to Manny though on this list because he's probably out of the three uh men on this list right here, these three fighters, I have to say Manny Pacquiao, I give him the most credit. And I even picked Manny Pacquiao to beat Terrence Crawford. I picked Manny to beat Terrence Crawford, but God dog it. Manny Pacquiao ain't want to take that risk. Manny don't want them problems. You know, we know Manny don't want it. See, we can say we want to say, look, he ducked him. Okay? He ducked him. Point blank ducked him. That, they ducked him. Duck, rubber ducky, you're the one. He ducked him. Okay? Let's go over here to Ruslan Pervotnikov. Now, surely the Siberian Rocky. Surely Siberian Rocky would not duck Terrence Crawford. Surely. Come on, people. We know this. We can't get around this. Surely the Siberian Rocky, you know, with all his great bouts, and I respect Provodnikov, this dude is a hard hitter. This dude will hurt you in the ring. I know this. And I'm actually a fan of Provodnikov, but surely the Siberian Rocky would not duck Terrence Crawford. But people, he won't fight the guy. How can we sit down and really truthfully explain all of this? What's Provodnikov's excuse? Okay, what's his excuse? Are we going to say that Terrence Crawford is not a big enough name? Because that's a lie. He is a big name. He is. He is the up-and-coming star that people don't want to fight. Terrence Crawford is a big name. See, when he beat up Yuri Okas Gamboa, see, here's my thing. How do you become somebody when nobody wants to fight you? I've asked this question on many occasions. How do you become somebody when nobody don't want to fight you, okay? I mean, you got the Errol Spencers and the Terrence Crawfords of the world. Nobody want to get in, get in the ring with these guys. Provotnikov knew what was coming, trust me. Provotnikov knew exactly what was coming. He knew, if I get in the ring with this Terrence Crawford guy, this dude this dude might beat me. And I and, and Provotnikov probably thinking too, oh, I'll get robbed on the, on the scorecard. He probably, because you know what? I'm going to give Provotnikov a little bit of credit. Now, he got robbed 
against Mauricio Herrera. I don't care what nobody say. Provodnikov beat Mauricio Herrera. He beat him, okay? He beat him, and he was robbed on the scorecards. Provodnikov beat the living piss and poop out of Mauricio. He beat the hell out of Herrera. I mean, did y'all see Mauricio Herrera? I, after Provodnikov got through with him. Now, you know Mauricio Herrera caught Provodnikov with a lot of good shots, and he messed up Provodnikov's eye, but damn. Mauricio, Mauricio Herrera eye was worse, man. I mean, this guy eye was just, whew, good grief, man. That eye was horrible looking, man. It looked like, I don't know, it looked like he was turned into a zombie. Run! Run! Mauricio's turned into a zombie! Run from his ass! Get a gun and shoot him in the head with a silver bullet! I don't know, man, but damn, he looked bad. But um, I think Provodnikov was robbed. Now, I, I, I got to give him on that. But, you know, why is he ducking Terrence Crawford? That would have been a good fight. Provodnikov versus Crawford. Come on now. And don't tell me, oh, some money thing. You know what? A win over Crawford is big. This is the new up-and-coming star in boxing in the top-ranked stable. This is the guy. It's the guy that people need to beat. Don't nobody want to get in the ring with him. Now we got Mauricio Herrera over here. Now, Mauricio Herrera, you know, people, listen. He was saying that he could get Rod fighting Terrence Crawford. So, robberies happen in boxing. People, are you kidding me? Come on, man. Come on. Anybody who anybody, they know robberies happen in boxing. Then he talked about the pay. The fight wasn't enough. Uh, excuse me, Mauricio Herrera. I mean, is he getting seven-figure paydays right now? I mean, hell, man. Beating Terrence Crawford is a good thing. I would have took that risk, man. Because I would have beat the guy, the up-and-coming young prospect who got hopes and dreams, and if I'm Mauricio Herrero, I would get in that, I'd get in that ring and smash those dreams and smash Terrence Crawford. But Mauricio Herrera, I don't think that he thought that he could beat him. I'm just being honest. I don't think Mauricio Herrera thought that he could beat him because you know you get a guy talking about yeah, but I'll get robbed. Hey, look, that's cold word for I don't think I can beat this dude. This dude too tough. I I, I just don't know. Okay, I I just don't know. You see, let me tell you something. And, I, and you know, I'm going to bring his name up in there. Deontay Wilder said, hey, I'll go to the U.K. to fight Provecki. Now, you know if Deontay Wilder in the U.K., or I'm sorry, in Russia, Deontay Wilder said he'll go to Russia to fight Provecki, okay? You know if he go to Russia and if it's a close fight, you know Provecki going to win that fight. You already know. If the fight is close, Provecki is going to win that fight, okay? But he's willing to go take the challenge anyway. So, my thing is, why can't you do that, Mauricio Herrera? Why? I know you got Rob fighting Danny Garcia. I know this, man. I know this. But, man, you, you got a gift decision against Provotnikov. You got a gift decision against Provotnikov. So, what the hell are you talking about? Robberies. Okay? I know you got to get over that Danny Garcia robbery, uh, Mauricio Herrera. You got to get over that, and you got to test yourself and say, you know what? I'm over that. I can get in the ring, and I can deal with Terrence Crawford, but Mauricio Herrera, I don't think that you think that you can get this job done. And that's just the way that is. Rubber ducky, I don't think you think that you can get the job done. Manny Pacquiao, we already know you know that you think that you couldn't get it done because you're fighting Tim Bradley. Provodnikov, what is your excuse, Provodnikov? Because all of y'all dudes can't say to pay. Just get in the ring. Don't try to tell me that is good business sense. Business sense? These are fighters. These guys are fighters. They're fighters. Okay? The first deal on the table is not the last deal. That's why it's called a negotiation. Because you negotiate the money, you jackasses. Ugh. I know this video is not going to be popular, but I don't really care at the moment. I just absolutely don't care at the moment. But I tell you what, when one of you three guys and Pacquiao out the picture, when he done with Bradley, he done. Provodnikov, you two, you two, you two guys, y'all need to step up to the plate, and that's just the way that is. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done.